Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Tyler here. Today I got some autographs to show off, so I'm gonna show them to you guys. Uh, I got a pickup, a few TTMs, so a bunch of stuff to add to my collection. Alright, the first thing is actually a pickup I bought. Uh, no real reason why I bought these cards, I just kind of felt like picking them up. I don't have any of these guys' autographs in my collection, so I uh, thought I'd get their autographs on these cards. So the first card I picked up was this 2006 card signed by Jose Valentin. There you go, you can see the card pretty well right there. Beautiful looking card, I love his signature, especially the blue on the Dodgers blue. Uh, really nice. Next pickup was this Dave Island signed card, former New York Yankee. I think he's a pitching coach now with Kansas City. So nice pickup. And also added Mr. Ted Lilly. Made a few all-star teams. Played for the Chicago Cubs, the Yankees, the Blue Jays, maybe a few other teams. But uh, I remember when I first started getting into baseball, he was like an all-star pitcher. Uh, so I'm pretty happy to add his autograph to my collection and uh, being a fan of his. So nice signature on the 08 Heritage, I believe. All right, got some TTMs to show. This one came back probably like a couple years now. I think I sent this to spring training a while back when he was with the Diamondbacks. So came back uh, finally. This is on a Heritage, Jeremy Hellickson was really surprised to get this card back. Now he's with the Phillies, and uh, he's like their number one pitcher for the Phillies. My first Jeremy Hellickson autograph in my collection, former rookie of the year as well. I got back this huge eight by 10, no clue what it was, but when I opened it, like I remember sending this out over the summer. It's Mr. Josh Zide on an eight by 10, Detroit Tigers photo. It's pretty creased up and like bent from the mail. But I originally bought this photo because he was with the New Britain Bees of the Atlantic League to begin last season. So I printed this out for him to hopefully get signed and he got signed by the Mets uh, like a week before I saw him again. Luckily I was able to send it to him uh, to the Mets, uh, I think double A AA or triple A I sent it to. And he probably took home his mail and signed it uh, in the off season, so uh, happy to get this back. I've met him a couple times, have a ton of his autographs, but nice to add this 8x10. Even if it's a little crease, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, finally, my last TTM. This is pretty different from all the other TTMs I get. Uh, I was so stoked when I got this back. I'm uh, more excited than any of the sports autographs I get back, but it's actually a YouTube TTM return and I'll show you who it is so here is the first autograph if you don't know what this is this is movie ticket stub and if you can see the autograph it's uh, Chris Stuckman now if you guys don't know who Chris Stuckman is he is probably the top movie reviewer on YouTube him and Jeremy Johns are probably tied if you don't know this about me uh, I'm a pretty big fan of movies and like that's one of my like hobbies I guess so Chris Stuckman is probably one of my favorite YouTubers out there and I sent him this movie ticket stub to get signed and he signed it for me. I thought that was really unique getting a movie ticket stub and then he also signed these two index cards for me. This one saying thanks Tyler, hopefully you can see it alright. And this one saying Tyler you're the best Chris Stuckman so that was Honestly, that's one of like my favorite TTM returns because I'm just such a big fan of his videos and his reviews and hopefully I, hopefully I can meet him one day. That would be really awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys liked the autographs I got back. Uh, I sure did. I want to remind you guys about my new segment though called Reading Q&As. It's where I read Q&As I send to different professional baseball players or just athletes in general about their career. It's basically like an interview, but just kind of like I, I read the questions and answers to you guys. And I've gotten in contact with a bunch of good names. I really think those videos are interesting and unique to YouTube. So I would really appreciate it if you guys could check those videos out. I think you guys would like them too, especially if you're a big sports fan and you know some of the players I'm talking to. All right, thank you guys. I'll see you next time. Peace.